Hey guys, it's the Andy-san here, doing a uh, quick, well, quick for me, mobile video. Now, uh, I'm doing this to kind of uh, put out a couple things, but before I do, this mobile video is brought to you by NOS. And yes, I got the, the grape one again. Um, now, you, you might recall in one of my previous videos that I said it tastes like a carbonated Dimetap. But, um, as I was tasting it today, I realized that that's not entirely accurate. Um, it more accurately tastes like, uh, do you remember, uh, back in the day when you had, like, a children's Tylenol and stuff? Like the, uh, the chewable tablets? Um, it tastes a lot like that. It tastes like the, uh, the grape-flavored, uh, chewable tablets of, like, kid's medicine. Kid's aspirin, whatever. Um, throw in a little carbonation, some... Secret blend of herbs and spices, and you got yourself an energy drink. And, uh, I like it because it's a buck, and, uh, I'm flat friggin' broke. <laughs> so, uh, but payday's just around the corner, so, uh, that won't be an issue for, uh, much longer. So, yeah, um, but I'm not here to talk about that. Um, first off, uh, what I want to talk about is, uh, the video that I promised you guys today. Um, I'm actually pushing that to Monday because I want this week to be uh, a bit more of a fuller schedule as opposed to having like one video Monday, one video Thursday, maybe a video on Friday, Saturday, you know. So I want to kind of make this week uh, a bit more filling, you know, have a video today, tomorrow, maybe Wednesday, not too sure on that, uh, but definitely f uh, Thursday. And then from there, you know, Whatever happens, happens. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, there's that. Um, so definitely look forward to it. And uh, But the main thing I want to talk to you guys about today is uh, I've been getting a lot of uh, comments and uh, messages and such about doing a live uh, broadcast, uh, like a blog TV or like a Ustream sort of dealio. And initially I was against the idea uh, simply because... I didn't think that, you know, I had a big enough audience to really keep things moving. And uh, I follow a lot of guys that are on, like, uh, Blog TV and Ustream, most notably uh, Tokyo Kuni, who uh, unfortunately has uh, seemed to have abandoned YouTube <laughs> for the most part. Um, he says he's coming back. He made a video a couple days ago saying that there will be videos coming. But, as much as I like the guy, uh, I gotta take that one with a grain of salt. So, uh, I feel like this is gonna be, like, the YouTube Chinese democracy. So, uh, I wish you, uh, I hope you, uh, come back, Cooney. You're an awesome dude. Make awesome videos. But, uh, I can't quite take, uh, the whole videos coming soon thing seriously anymore, you know. Uh, but I do hope you come back. Because you make some awesome, awesome stuff. And uh, you're one of the reasons that I got into this. So, but before I go on a rant about how Tokyo Kuni doesn't post videos as much anymore, um, which is untrue, he just doesn't do it on YouTube, uh, I'm also going to talk about some of the other uh, vloggers that I follow on the, the live broadcasts. Uh, like I said, Tokyo Kuni. I also follow uh, Jason of the Myogonauts channel. Um, Tone King, who did an amazing uh, Friday webcast. Uh, thanks for the shout out, by the way. Um, uh, I also follow uh, Gary Vaynerchuk, who uh, <clears throat> is the, uh, I guess like the CEO or whatever of Wine Library TV. Very popular. You guys might know him. He brings the thunder. Um, he has actually uh, two live webcasts that he does. He does uh, Wine Library TV and uh, his own like either personal slash marketing one. And I follow those, and for the most part, uh, the people that I follow are really interesting and have a knack for keeping things going, or just totally BSing when no interesting questions are popping up. But um, there is there are points where the uh, kind of momentum kind of sags, and that's just the nature of the beast, I think. So uh, I was kind of afraid of things getting a little boring after a while. You know, it'd be super exciting because, hey, you get to talk to me! And then it would just kind of sag, you know, once the novelty wears off. But, um, after receiving a ton of comments and messages and all that stuff over the years, I've decided, you know what, 
fuck it. <laughs> For lack of a better word, fuck it. I'm going to actually do this. I'm going to get on the bandwagon, <clears throat> and I'm going to learn about how to do, like, a live broadcast. And, uh, like I said, I'm more familiar with being on the commentator side of things, you know, plunking in with the questions and such. But this will be kind of interesting for me, because I've never actually done a live broadcast before. So I'll get to learn the uh, the other side of things, about how to deal with uh, spam bots and trolls, which are another concern for me, but um, we'll just kind of run with it. So, um, yeah, today's question for you guys, uh, what would be the best day and time for a live video broadcast? Now, I don't want to do it on a day where nobody's going to show up. I mean, I don't want to just pop up on like a Saturday at like 7 in the morning or something and be like, where is everybody? This sucks. Click. <laughs> You know, I want to make sure that you guys uh, are aware of the broadcast and kind of, in a way, agree to uh, either show up or say that, that you know, it's the best time. Uh, so, yeah, uh, definitely put that in the comments below or message me if you uh, want to keep things on the DL. But uh, I see this video is getting kind of long, so uh, time to end things for today. This is the Andy Song, signing off for now. Thanking you guys, my super special audio, awesome audience, for uh, commenting, rating, subscribing, uh, telling your friends about me and my awesome videos. Um, so pretty much just keep doing what you're doing. Good stuff. Love it. And uh, as always, we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.